Morning guys, Anthony here. It is uh, Sunday, April 14th. I've got these Traver Force 100 watt solar panels that I received recently. And I have one hooked up right now to the Blue Eddy EB3A, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, right here. And it is 10.42 a.m. And that's just hooked up, just like the other panel yesterday, to the MC4 connector, to the Blue Eddy cable, and up to the unit itself. Let's see what it's at. So we're getting 75 watts, 73 watts. The battery's at 27%, and I don't have any load on it. I don't have my phone on it. So there's nothing nothing going out. But we got 88, 90 watts right there. I think you can see that. So that's pretty good for this panel. And what I'll do next is I'll put both panels in series since I have two of them. And these are the specs. It's got a max power 100 watts, open circuit voltage 20.5. Uh, 6.03 amps And yeah, so these get pretty good reviews that I've read so far so they're they look pretty well made and they um, Seem to be performing so glad I got these Two so that's 200 watts and then I have two 200 watt panels So now I've got uh, 600 watts of rigid glass panels, which is what I wanted and then if I had to, I could put them right up on that roof right there and charge my bigger batteries as well and keep them up there for a while if I wanted to. So that was the goal with that. Let's see what it's getting now. 89 watts. It's pretty good. 10.40, 10.45 a.m. Sunday morning on the Bluetti EB3A. 268 watt hour battery but with a 600 watt inverter this is a great little unit to have for around the house which is what I use it for can also power a 12 volt fridge and recharges very quickly um, which is one of the reasons I got it and it's got a lot of technology in it you can have an app that goes with it but it's a great little unit and so there it is, the Traver Force 100 watt panels. Thanks for watching. And there's Teddy. Hey, buddy. Where's Charlotte? I don't see her. She's over here somewhere. There she is. Charlotte, happy birthday.